Hey everyone, John Hartley. I read today about um, a proposal that went, a bill that went into Congress uh, proposing uh, the American Innovations Dollar. And I wanted to talk with you all a little bit about that today. But before we get serious, I'm going to show you all some cuteness. That is me and my brothers back in 1966. This was a hotel in the mountains of North Carolina. I'm putting together some pictures I'm going to post on Facebook on the 31st, um, which is the fourth anniversary of the death of my brother Charlie here on the right. Um, he died of brain cancer. Well, that's the oldest on the left. Next oldest on the right. The friendly one there is me. And the baby in the middle right. Uh, 1966. Them crew cuts, man. Daddy was a Marine. He kept us... He kept us real tidy until... 70s came around and the hair came out. I'm going to start by talking about everything that happened since about 1999. The Washington Quarters Program, I didn't collect the coins at first. Uh, I, uh, I wasn't putting together albums uh, as much back then. And I had not started on uh, the Kennedy album and the Washington Quarter album, which is what led me to putting together the rest of these albums. If you look at the video I have of my how my OCD helped uh, my coin collection, it talks about that. But since I'm breaking open sets to get... Um, uh, the newer coins for those albums I've got all these other coins to fill up so that's when I started putting together albums for the statehood quarter project among others and and I appreciate them for what they are they brought a lot of kids into our hobby um, they, it was something that circulated. The kids could go through their parents' pockets uh, when they got home from work and get the change out and start collecting these coins from circulation. It cost them nothing. It cost their parents a quarter each time they pulled one out. It just notice this, this Nevada coin. The horse is on there. And the sun and the mountains have toned a beautiful gold. That's that's not the light. That's that's tone. I like that. But that that was what was good about the project. And I only, like I said, I only started collecting them when I was breaking up in albums, and I had to do something with those with those quarters. So. But it should have ended right here with Hawaii. That's where it was supposed to end. Well, political correctness, like a lot of other things in this world, took over. And they had to do Washington, D.C., Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, the Virgin Islands, and the Northern Marianas. And I collected those because I'm a completist. I had all the others, plus I'm still at that time busting open uh, mint sets to get coins for my other albums. So I just wanna, yeah, gotta get them all. But one good thing out of this was that I, of course, knew of the uh, Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico and obviously Washington, D.C., but I didn't know Guam, Samoa, and Marianas Islands were uh, 
even part of the United States. I should have. I pride myself in history. But then we got even, well, this isn't, this isn't political correctness. This is money. All of a sudden, our legislature see all that money that the Mint made in proof sets and in uncirculated sets, and they noticed that this money was going to go away. Now, I think the mon any profit that the, po that the post office, that the uh, Mint makes goes to pay off the national debt. I'm not sure of that. Tell me if I'm wrong. But um, if that's true, then okay. That's one good thing about it. But they, I keep hitting my camera. Why do we have to keep on going with this? Still, it is something that the kids can collect because these coins are in the pockets. They are in circulation, and they can still collect them. So, okay, that, you know, that's good. But, we also have Sacagawea dollars. Where'd I put that album? I didn't bring it out. Anyway, the Sacagawea dollars, um, took place, they took the place of Susan B. Anthony's. Susan B. Anthony's were hated because they looked too much like a quarter and people like carrying dollar bills anyway, rather than coins. Um, several years ago, uh, Mr. Kane from Arizona, McCain from Arizona produced or introduced a bill that would do away with the one and two dollar bills and force us to use coins as our dollars. Well, you saw where that went. That's because you didn't see anything happen. But they have the sack. They had the Sacagawea quarter or dollar out there, and it uh, it did not circulate. And Susan B. Anthony circulated a little bit in New York City for subway token subway uh, money, I think. And I used to buy stamps in the post office in those days and um, in the 90s and the, if you put a five dollar bill in to get stamps they'd give you change in Sacagawea dollars and maybe they still use the Sacagawea, not Sacagawea, Susan B. Anthony's back then um, and maybe this uh, Sacagawea still are used in those methods um, I think they have to when they make a new coin that replaces, you know, make a new quarter. It's got to be the same size, dimension, you know, metallic content. It's got to work in a vending machine. But um, why, if we already have a dollar coin, do we need the presidential dollars? Well, the main reason is it's making money for the government. And it gives congressmen and senators who don't have anything else to do an easy bill to get passed I know that was a, a mean statement to make but the government right now except for the president don't really have my support except maybe the mayor of my hometown So we got presidential dollars. Well, presidential dollars have ended. And the worst thing about that, or 
Well, the, the best thing is they ended. The worst thing is, that if you if you know me, I don't like empty holes in my albums. But with the presidential album, there's a whole last page for Bush, Clinton, and Bush number two, and then a a row beneath that that they didn't print Obama's name on it because he's he's my age. He probably isn't going to die for quite some time, and I don't think that the law allows for it, you know, if, if, if President Bush, the elder, dies, he's, he's getting way up there. I don't, you know, it's a bad thing to wish him to die. I don't wish him to die. But um, I don't think they can go back and make a coin for him. So those holes, if I'm correct, and that will be empty forever. So why do we need another dollar coin? We got through the presidential pu- uh, dollar coin. Why do we need another president or another dollar coin? We have the Native American coin, which I still want to call the Sacagawea coin because that's what it is. It's what it started off to be. It's got Sacagawea and John Baptiste, her son, on the obverse. And then PC political correctness came to us. It's a Native American coin, and the reverse changes. With it. And that's one good thing because they got some halfway decent designs on the reverse that show um, show things that uh, the Native American community have done for the country. But why do we need another dollar coin? Well, it's the money. The mint sells mint sets. These coins aren't going to circulate. You'll never see them in circulation. I tried with the presidential. I got my hands on a bankroll of presidential dollars. And I decided, just like I do with $2 bills, I spend $2 bills. I get them from the bank every chance I get. I decided I'd put some in my pocket and try to spend them. Or maybe this was when Sacagawea just came out. But still, you get the funniest looks. And it's not like the $2 bill where, you know, managers above the age of 30 know about $2 bills. These are brand new items. Uh, they, even the manager looks at you funny. And it's When I was a deputy sheriff and the new $100 and $50, $20 bills were coming out, we would get calls for service to grocery stores and such to go over and because there was a, somebody passing counterfeit money. And the Treasury Department had sent us posters and, uh, and handouts, little flyers, that when we ran into that situation, we were to pass out and so people would understand, people that lived in a cave understood that this was the new currency of America. So trying to pass one of these dollars is a hard thing and it's not worth your time in my humble opinion so why do we need it well I don't will I collect it yes because it's going to be in mint sets and I'm going to have to buy another dance go album I don't think I have room for another dance go album but uh, stack them on top of the safe instead of in the safe But give me your opinion. What do you think? Is it something else fun that we can collect? It's not something that's circulating so the kids aren't going to get them easy. Uh, Younger kids can't buy them from the mint themselves uh, in the norm. Though kids nowadays do get more of an allowance than I used to get, which was 50 cents a week. And I was rich. Um... But tell me what you think. You like the idea? It hasn't passed yet. It's just just got introduced to the to the uh, Congress uh, last week. If it passes the Congress, it goes to the Senate. Passes the Senate, goes to the President's desk. If you're my age, you watch. I'm just a bill. Saturday mornings, you know, all those uh, like conjunction, junction, and what's my function. But uh, if you want to follow the uh, 
If you want to follow the bill, it's HR 770. Just Google HR 770 and click on the first one that says Congress of the United States, and it'll tell you what the latest action was on the bill. And uh, if it passes next year, will we not only have a bunch of quarters, but again, like when we had the presidential dollars, our proof sets and mint sets will have four more dollar coins. This time they're going to do them uh, alphabetically. So I guess that's Alaska we start with. And uh, they're going to have four per year. So American Innovators uh, dollar. Each coin will have a, a, a figure that symbolizes liberty on the obverse. And on the reverse it will feature an item or a person that was innovative innovative. Uh, to the United States. That's what the bill says. So let me know what you think and uh, share this with your friends. I need uh, I need subs. Uh, so tell them John Hartley sent you. Until then, I'm 1042.